If this video taken from YouTube sounds familiar, it might be because it is strikingly similar to what was heard in Kingstown on July 19 when five males were murdered. Yes. Many alarmed by what they had heard in the nation's capital noted that it was akin to reported from an urban war zone. Sources tell Eyewitness News that police recovered around 70 spent shells and a number of live rounds of ammunition at the scene of the worst mass murder in St. Vincent and the Grenadines in living memory. Those spent shells were from 5.56 and 9mm ammunition and sources tell Eyewitness News that police believe that a Draco, a dangerous pistol that functions like an AK-47 rifle, was used in the mass murder. A Draco uses 5.56 ammunition, which is prohibited for civilians in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Firearms such as a Draco and other assault-type guns are prohibited weapons in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, meaning that it is illegal for a civilian to possess one without the expressed permission of the Minister of National Security. Those guns are reserved for law enforcement and national security agencies. But for those who have been paying careful attention, a Draco in the hands of criminal elements in St. Vincent and the Grenadines should have come as no surprise. After all, a Draco was among the guns that customs and police seized at Port Kingstown in December 2022. But then, Police intercepted one Draco, one Apache rifle, six 9mm pistols, and 200 rounds of 7.62 ammunition. Most of the weapons were found in transmissions for vehicles, and one of the pistols was traced to a crime in the United States. No one has been charged in connection with that cache of guns and ammunition. Earlier last year, on February 2, 2022, Police recovered and seized one AR-15 rifle, another prohibited weapon, one Draco, two magazines, and 93 rounds of 5.56 ammunition in Bower Mountain, Georgetown. No one has been charged in connection with those firearms and ammunition. Then, on October 14, 2022, the SVG Coast Guard intercepted a 29-foot pirogue west of Canawan in the Southern Grenadines with four Trinidadians on board. The boat was found to contain 330 grams of cocaine, 49 rounds of 7.62 ammunition, and 20 rounds of 5.56 ammunition, both of which are prohibited ammunition in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The recovery of prohibited weapons and ammunition continued into 2023. On January 23, 2023, police recovered one M4 rifle, two magazines, 50 rounds of 0.22, 20 rounds of 10 mm, 2 rounds of 9 mm, and 9 rounds of 0.45 ammunition, along with two black masks from an abandoned house in Rose Place, Kingstown. No arrest has been made in connection with that seizure. As the bloodletting continued in St. Vincent and the Grenadines on Friday, September 8th, there are new concerns about a Draco-type firearm being used to snuff out more lives on the nation's streets. Sources tell Eyewitness News that police are working with a theory that the same type of firearm was used to kill Jamal Cribbit Finch in Cyan Hill just before midnight on September 8. As was the case with the Kingston 5 in July, Finch was shot repeatedly in the head. Finch was killed one day after Rose Place resident Giovanni Batiste, 28, was gunned down about 8 a.m. in Buckhamet Bay on his way to work. A well-placed source told Eyewitness News that footage from a surveillance camera in the area showed a single assailant using two pistols to shoot Batiste 12 times in the head and multiple other times about the body. Meanwhile, police have offered EC $50,000 for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the perpetrators of the mass killing in the city in July. So far, no charge has been laid in connection with those killings, and the homicide count this year stands at 38, four shy of last year's record-setting 42. 
The nation's poorest maritime borders have been blamed for the easy importation of guns and ammunition into the country. However, one law enforcement source told Eyewitness News that criminals used the lax customs inspections during the 2021 eruption of La Soufre to import guns and ammunition among relief items intended for persons displaced by the volcano. Kenton Chance, Eyewitness News, Kingstown, St. Vincent.